Jerry Lewis was supposed to do an hour and a half. And when Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin split up, everybody thought, oh, poor Dean, what's he going to do? He's not going to have anything. And actually, it was Jerry was the one who suffered the most. And at the last minute, he decided he didn't want to do an hour and a half. So they didn't know what to do. They had this half hour in a very short time to kill it. So that's, they always called on Kovacs, do the impossible. And he said, yes, he'd love to do it. But nobody was to interfere with anything he wanted to put on. He said, no problem. So he devised this slanted room. And uh, uh, no, he didn't want any sound, any speaking. And uh, was there music on, music on the show? Oh, yes, music. Mm -hmm. And uh, his shoes made noise, every, you know, everything made a noise, and the, the library and whatever. And um, just before airtime, I don't remember what the time was that it went on, because I was working on the theater and I couldn't do the show, or I was supposed to do the, the I was doing the Labner by that time. And um, I didn't see it because it was on when we were on, and there was no tape. <laughs> we got a guinea of it, we couldn't find it. And uh, Ernie was doing, he could do something before a show that was just amazing. I could never do it. He could, like if the show was going on live at 8 o'clock, at 7.45 he would lie down on the floor with just a little something under the head, and he would go completely, I don't mean a little bit out, he would go, I mean way out, he could fall asleep like that. and. In five minutes, it was like he'd been sleeping for five hours. He would totally, I, I used to say, how do you do that? Show me how to do that. And he was there for his, this quarter to, it was going to go on in 15 minutes. And they came in and they said, one of the sponsors is insisting that they do it live with an announcer. And this is, somebody was there, told me he got up very slowly, went over and got a coat and his hat, and he said, well then, you better get a cowboy film ready. <laughs> he walked out of the studio. <laughs> so they said, OK, no, we won't do that. Just go on. So and he would him, have. He uh, would have. Describe what happened in terms of, of the Eugene uh, show itself. I mean, what it was about. Well, it was um, this character. In the, the original silent show, he had a wax nose turned up, and he had a hat and bumpkin pants that were up too short, and he was just kind of a guy of the, with, with his lunchbox that wandered into the men's club. And of course, nobody spoke, but they just looked. And everything that he did made a noise. His joints went pow, 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 like explosions. And uh, they had a moose head. And uh, he hung his hat on the moose head and walked through the door. And the whole rest of the moose was on the other side. And the tail was wagging. And then you hear crunch, crunch, crunch. And the moose has taken a out of his hat and then he decides that he's he goes through different things he gets the glasses and the ice no matter how he tries to drink the ice gets in his way so he puts that in his pocket he puts on a funny miniature uh, uh, phonograph record of there's a little spark of love still burning and um, these people are all looking at him and finally he decides to go over to have lunch, and he sits at this a library table so that nobody knows, but the library table is on this kind of an angle, and the camera is tilted at that angle, so that when he comes in, he has to go like a 45 degree angle and sit like this, and then it looks straight up. And he, every time he brings something out, it falls off the table, it runs off the table, he pours milk, it goes down the other side. Finally, he uh, very clever and no explanation for no. it. No, and at the end he turns it like this way, and it's the, of course the stagehands are moving the whole set. Was there a, a good response to that show? It was amazing. After yeah. that, um, oh, Harry Cohen saw it, and uh, oh, he had offers from everywhere, so he, took, he went out and started to make movies immediately.